हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अधेश अकेडमी इन क्लास इलेवन मैथ्स वी आर नाउ गोइंग थ्रू द चैप्टर ऑफ सेट थ्योरी इन द फर्स्ट लेसन वी हैव अंडरस्टूड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ सेट एंड इन द सेकेंड लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सेट्स नाउ द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ सेट इज कॉल्ड इम टी सेट इम टी सेट मीन्स अ सेट विच डज नॉट कंटेन एनी एलिमेंट इम टी सेट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज नल सेट or a void set the meaning of this is that if there is a set on which there is no element at all then that will be called an empty set for example if we say x is a set such that x is a student presently studying in both class 10th and class 11th so you can understand that there will be no student who can study in class 11th as well as in class 10th and therefore the set is a empty set let's take the second example if we say a set where x is a natural number which is greater than 1 and less than 2 we understand that natural numbers can be either 1 2 3 4 5 like that so there is absolutely no possibility of having any number which is greater than 1 but less than 2 and so this is also a empty set let's take the third example if we say that x is such that it is a rational number x square minus 2 is equal to 0 let us say this is the set then we know the value of the x is under root 2 and under root 2 is not a rational number and therefore there can be no element on this set let's take the next example if we say that x is a even prime number which is greater than 2 then this also cannot have any member because the only prime number which is even is 2 and if the number goes more than 2 then it is impossible to have any prime number which is an even so again this is a example of null set similarly suppose x square is equal to 4 then we know the value of the x will be plus minus 2 and in that situation if it says x is odd then there is no possibility of finding any member on this set also so we have seen that it is possible that by the definition if we find out the values we find that there is no value fitting in any set and then it will be called a empty set let's take the second category of sets which is called finite and infinite set as it is evident from the name itself the finite set means that there are number of values or number of members who are fixed in numbers that means we get defined that there are 100 member 1000 member 1 lakh member or whatever is the number of members it can be defined that is called a finite set anything which is not a finite set becomes a infinite set because the number of members are infinite which cannot be counted on let us take an example of a set a which has member 1 2 3 4 5 we know that there are only five members and so it is definitely a finite set second is that if we take the second set which whose members are say a b c d e and g then again it is a finite set because it's having a fixed member now let's take the third example set of the men who are living presently in different parts of the world this number may be very very huge it may be in billions but possible to count it therefore this is again a finite set if suppose we say w is the set of the days of the week then again the w is finite because it can have only seven members let's take the next example suppose there is a equation called x square minus 16 is equal to 0 then we know that the value of the x is plus minus 4 and so this is a again a finite set because it's having a two members let's take a example of infinite set if suppose g is the point on a line it is a set of the point on a line then we know that there can be infinite points on a particular line and therefore it is an example of an infinite set now we can represent the infinite set in a roster form also one method is that if we really try to express them into numbers then it is not possible because there will be infinite member but a method has been made how we can express that in the roster form also so what we do is that we write some of the members there and then we put three dots after that so when we put three dots that means the series will go up to infinite this is the method of representing the infinite set into the roster form but remember that all infinite sets cannot be described in the roster form for example if you have to describe the set of a rational number then that cannot be described in a infinite form because there can be infinite ways of expressing it for example 1 by 2 is a rational number 3 by 4 is a rational number any two numbers can be a rational number and so it's impossible to create a series 
where you can put three dots and say that this is the continuation of that. And so some of the sets cannot be represented in the roster form. This is one example. But most of the cases we can express them. For example, if it is a set of natural number, we can express them one, two, three, and then put three dots after that. Now, if you have to uh, express the set of odd natural number, we can put some of the members in the beginning and then put dot, dot, dot. For example, one, three, five, seven, and put dot, dot, dot. This will be a representation. In the same way, if you have to uh, express a set of integer, we can start from minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and put dot, dot, dot on both the sides, left and right side, then this is also can be represented in the roster form. So most of the cases, we can represent the infinite set also in the roster form, but sometime it may not be possible as we have discussed in the case of rational number, it is not possible to express that in the roster form. Then the next type of set are called equal sets. When there are two sets which has exactly the same elements, then they are called equal sets and they are generally expressed in the terms of A equal to B. If the members are not same, then they are called A not equal to B. So when we are saying A not equal to B, that means they are unequal sets and when we are saying A equal to B, that means they are the equal sets. Now you should understand that if in a set we put the same number more than once, then the value of the set does not change. For example, if there is a set called A whose elements are 1, 2, 3 and there is an another set which is B whose elements are 2, 2, 1, 3, 3, then both sets are equal because exactly same members are there 1, 2, 3. So it does not matter what is the sequence, it does not matter as to whether the numbers are repeated or not, they will continue to be same. Now let's take some examples of the equal set. For example, if there is a set A whose members are 1, 2, 3, 4 and there is a set B whose members are 3, 1, 4, 2, then A is equal to B because both are having exactly the same members. Let's take the second example. A is a set of prime numbers which are less than 6. What are the members? 2, 3 and 5. These are the three prime members and they are less than 6. Now let's take another set P which is the prime factors of 30. Now what are the prime factors of 30? Again 2, 3 and 5. So both are having identical members and therefore both these sets are equal to each other. So these are the examples of equal sets. So I hope that you have understood as to what are the different type of sets, empty sets, finite set, infinite sets and equal sets. So once you have understood this, please solve the problems which are given after this. Thank you very much for watching the video and give your comments and share your views. Thank you.